everyone, 2016 is almost over, so let's look at some of my favorite books from this year. So in 2016 I've read 34 books, and probably 35 by the end of the year, uh, but I feel like I have a pretty good grasp on which ones are my favorites. And because I haven't read like a million books like some other booktubers, I feel like my list has to be pretty short and very specific because I've liked a lot of the books that I've read, and I want this list to be like a really good representation of you know, my, my journey in books this year. So let's get started. The first book, or maybe I should say series, of this year that were my favorites uh, is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah G. Mass. I've talked about this a lot, especially earlier this year. This series has been important to me this year because like, some of the issues and some of the things that I've been dealing with I really um, sort of saw reflected in these books and it helped me to read about you know, how other people overcame issues, and even though I still have miles to go, it's it's still helpful to me. Um, I do want to address the diversity issue that I've been uh, seeing on booktube mostly, which at the time I was reading this I didn't realize, I didn't see, um, obviously, but I acknowledge it now, and I do realize that if I read these books for the first time now, that I would probably not like them as much. Um, I would still like the story because I think the story is great, but the fact that it's so very one-sided in terms of diversity does kind of take away from the fun, maybe? So even though I do think that these books are very important for me to put on my favorites list for this year, they probably won't be my favorites forever if that makes sense. The next book on my favorites list is Edna Darkin by Kirsten White. Um, this is a book about um, Eastern Europe, Vlad the Impaler, that kind of era. Um, it's talking about Christianity, Islam, there's different types of um, social issues that are being talked about, political issues as well, and that's kind of like my favorite kind of stuff, like fantasy or historical fiction with a lot of politics in it. Um, and this is a story that I haven't read before. Like, I have read tons of, like, World War II stuff or, you know, more like the Western history, but this is very Eastern European history that I, I don't know much about. So that's really cool about this book. Um, it just teaches me new things, and that's cool. Yeah, it just opens up new stories to me. So I hope that I read more of these kind of books next year. Um, just new types of stories, new types of history that I don't know yet. That would be cool. So if you have any suggestions, leave them down below in the comments. And the last book that I have on my list, I know it's a very short list, but I only read like 35 books, so come on. Don't want to make the whole list like half of the books I read. Uh, the last one is The Person Being a Wallflower by Stephen Jabosky, and I feel like a lot of people have read this and probably have them on the favorites list, I'm not sure, but I've only read this this year for the first time. I've read, I've seen the movie before, but I've only read this book now. Sometimes I'm like, I wish I read it before when I was a teenager and I was actually going through issues that were described in this book, but now, like, I'm an adult and maybe it's better that I read it now just so that, like, it gives me perspective in, into, like, what I was like or the thoughts that I had that I didn't get at the time. So in that sense, like, this book is very important to me because it just, like, explains things to me about myself. So those were three books, or two books in one series, that sort of defined my year in reading, I feel, so that's why I picked them, that's why they're on my favorites list, even though some of them might be slightly pro problematic now, um, but at the time of reading, they helped me a lot. Yeah, those books were probably the best representation of my journey in books this year, if that makes sense. So thank you so much for watching, and until next time!